Hundreds of people may have died in the collapse of an apartment building in Pyongyang. Government officials from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea have offered a rare public apology, but otherwise little is known about what has happened. Joining us live from Pyongyang is Raphael Wolver, a senior video journalist with the Associated Press. Raphael, what can you tell us about the building collapse and the casualties? Good morning, Susan, from Pyongyang. It's now Monday morning here, just over 24 hours since this news first came out. That was yesterday, early Sunday morning. It was uh, an announcement from the state news agency, KCNA. And really, since then, there has been no other source of information about this accident. To put it into context, the state news agency report said that the accident took place last Tuesday. That's almost a week ago. And their report focused on the apologies of senior officials gathering at the accident site on Saturday afternoon local time. So there has been no further detail in terms of casualty numbers, whether dead or injured, that has come out from the DPRK. It has not been possible actually to go to the site to see what has happened there. And no other officials have gone on the record to say anything more about the event. It was a surprise that this kind of news appeared in DPRK state media for the first time in anybody's living memory here, really. But it's also quite typical that the information has been controlled very carefully and has been restricted only to that single state news agency report of early Sunday morning. Raphael, does the official news about the accident and the apology for it signify any change in DPRK's ruling policy? It is certainly a surprise, but it's not unprecedented in the sense that some of the way that news has been reported here has changed a little bit over the past couple of years. There was an example last year of a football match which the, 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 the result of the football match, the winning team was subsequently disqualified. And outside observers of the DPRK were surprised last year when the state news agency announced internationally and domestically that the result of this match had been overturned. That was unusual. And before then, there was another slightly unusual appearance in state media of criticism from the, the country's leader of facilities at a fun fair, a major fun fair near the capital, Pyongyang. So these are small tweaks to the way the news is managed here. But it is really a, a bigger surprise what came out over the weekend. However, it's important to emphasize that very careful control is being maintained of the situation. Life here in Pyongyang on the surface at least continues as normal. And although it's new to have news like this in state media, the handling of it, the, the way that officials aren't available for comment outside of what appears in the state news agency, that's still a very strong way of maintaining control over, over news here. Raphael Weber with the Associated Press joining us live from Pyongyang. Thank you.